Sepsis if, is life-threatening organ failure caused by a body's response to an overwhelming infection. We analyzed a, uh, spe a special data set um, uh, uh, to uh, investigate uh, readmission rates. And so what we did is we uh, uh, looked at every uh, index hospital admission that was associated with a 30-day unplanned readmission and then looked at the proportion of admissions that were due to sepsis, heart failure, pneumonia, uh, heart attacks, and chronic obstructive lung disease. And we found that sepsis index admissions accounted for the highest proportion and for the, uh, for the highest proportion among these admissions. Sepsis readmission rates are high uh, for probably two uh, reasons. First of all, sepsis is very common. Um, it is among the most common conditions that we actually see in the hospital, and particularly in the intensive care unit. And so as a consequence of that, uh, readmissions are common, but also because sepsis doesn't stop once you survive your initial hospital stay. Uh, it goes on and affects uh, your life uh, for long thereafter, and so that results uh, most often in uh, frequent readmissions. If you uh, look at the, our numbers, the simple question would be yes. The University of Pittsburgh Medical Center and the VA Pittsburgh Healthcare System uh, are currently launching uh, incentives and interventions to uh, target high-risk patients and reduce, uh, uh, hopefully reduce unplanned readmissions. Um, so uh, there's a lot of ongoing work in process.